So the first question is, my parents expect me to get straight A's and to get into a top tier university. But then they expect me to do all of my prayers on time and also go to the mosque for Jama'ah. How do I get them to realize that they, that they can't have it all? Something has to be given, given up. There's, there isn't time for everything right now in my life. Okay, so, mashallah, one of the things that is um, on a lot of parents' plates is to set their children up for success. And it's a big responsibility and it's a big weight and it's a big um, source of stress for many parents. And what, one of those responsibilities is helping their children be successful, not only in the dunya, but in the akhira as well, inshallah. So parents who have been successful in teaching their children will teach their children the, about time management skills and also about what is due to their Lord Right? that everything isn't just about succeeding in the dunya. So it can definitely feel like it's very, very overwhelming, but you can't have success in the dunya without actually turning to Allah and asking for his help. And that's something that parents realize and are trying to communicate with their kids. And sometimes maybe the communication skills can be lacking and it feels like there isn't empathy or there isn't sympathy and they're not getting what kind of pressure that children are under. And so... It's going to be important to sit down with your parents and let them know that these are the things that are stressing me out. Um, help me figure out a way that I can manage my time so that I can be successful in the things that are important to both of us. And inshallah, pleasing our Lord and fulfilling his rights is also one of those things that are important. So one of the things that I saw um, work really well with a friend of mine is when her kids were in college and they were applying to universities, she made it really clear to her kids that they had six different areas of their life lives that they couldn't be neglecting. And that all six areas needed to have something filling those, if you want to call them, time slots. So she, um, when, I, when she laid it out for me, I, I was a few years behind her. And when my kids came of age, I had the same discussion with them. And I have found it to be really, really helpful. So the six areas we talked about focusing on was that your body has a right over you. So physical health, making sure that you're working out, you're getting exercise, you're getting sunshine. Um, you know, you're going out and playing sports or having, having fresh air, right? And that you're not just in your room studying all the time. You're not just sitting at a computer the, the entire time. So physical, your body has rights over you. The second was that something education related. So regarding your education. So you have to be going for tutoring or you have to be taking your classes or going to um, college or whatever it is. That's being fulfilled by taking, going to classes, taking care of your education. The third is career. So figuring out what you want to do um, and doing something in that direction, whether it's an internship or if you want to have pocket money, getting some kind of job, even if it's babysitting, something where you're doing something out there where it's not just your parents taking care of you 24-7, that you're out there also you know, having some responsibility. So there is physical, there is educational, there is your career. The fourth was something for the community. So just making sure that you're out there, whether it's going to Juma. For us, it was um, going to uh, Talif on Sundays. So just meeting with the community, making sure that you have some kind of bond with other Muslims. Some I know in her family, her son decided to tutor uh, students in underprivileged areas. So that was his way of giving back to the community. So that's I've covered four now. So the fifth was um, religious, so making sure that you are praying or you're, you've got some orad, some kind of dhikr that you're doing. And the sixth was um, family, time for the family. So even if it meant only having dinner once, once a week, if that's all you could do is sit with your family and have dinner once a week or Sunday morning brunch, making sure that that was fulfilled. So they laid it out as a chart. And then their kids had to figure out how they were going to fill every single one of those slots. And we did that in our family as well. Because there was a time where I noticed, like with one of my sons, all those slots were being filled, but exercise was being neglected. 
And so it was like, no, no, we got to figure this out. Like, how are you going to be going out and making sure that you're taking care of your health as well? Or with one of the other kids, everything was being fulfilled, but family time was being neglected. We never saw him at the dinner table because he was always running in different directions. And sometimes one thing could take care of two of those things. So like one of my sons teaches Quran in the community. So for him, that was his religious thing because it gave him a chance to review his Quran, but it was also his giving back to the community. But making sure every one of those slots is filled, otherwise you're going to have an imbalanced life. And then inshallah, tawfiq comes, right? We're praying to Allah for that, for success. Inshallah, may Allah make it easy.